you're tired or if you didn't realize you're officially on vacation which means that we got to try this again because for the next eight days you are officially free of responsibility you don't have to worry about any cooking you don't have to worry about any cleaning you don't gotta go to work you don't have to go to school you are officially on vacation so let's try this again how's everybody doing <laughs> yes. All right. Now I can I can only see so many of you right now because it looks like a Cheech and Chong movie up here. Um, <laughs> oh, I was the only one thinking that. Okay. okay. All right. Um, can I, can I actually get the house lights, please? I want to be able to see everybody's beautiful faces. Oh, ooh, oh, I'm not gonna make fun of you. Don't worry about it. I just want to be able to see all my balcony. Balcony. How are you tonight? Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. There we go. All right, oh, that's nice and bright. Hello, no hiding anymore. All right, well, welcome aboard the Carnival Dream. Um, if I haven't had a chance to meet you, my name is Mark Q, which is simply M-A-R and a capital Q. Yes, well done, well done, yes. If you really enjoy the show, my last name is T. Oh, <laughs> 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 Just being serious. All right. Oh my gosh. And I am so excited to be able to be here and to guide you on this journey of fun. Um, it's so cool to be able to start this cruise off and to be able to have like everybody here. And um, uh, first and foremost, a lot of people always say like, you know, what is like the role of a cruise director and you know what to expect and stuff. And so the way that I like to break it down is like, it's my responsibility to have as much fun as I can so that fun becomes contagious so that y'all have the best cruise ever. And I really want y'all to have the best cruise ever because I think y'all want the best cruise ever, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So one of the things, um, if you've cruised with us before, you've um, probably had a cruise director that was um, British or um, British or Australian or British. Um, and I think by this point in time of the show, you're sitting there going, yeah, not British. No, no. Um, but with this very thick accent that I have, does anybody have any idea where I could be from? New York. I am actually way too nice to be from New York. Yeah. Texas, and I don't have the twang. I'm working on a southern accent, and I'm actually, oh, wait, wait, I'm getting this one down. Mm. Bless your heart. Is that good? Is that good? Yes! I'm learning, I'm learning. Thank you, thank you. What? Lit there's, wait, there's a little to it? Bless your little heart. Oh, okay, well, I'm not going to say... <laughs> He, he said fudge. He really likes fudge, so, child. Yes. Okay. No, I'm not from Texas. Ohio is very close. Canada is very, very close. I am from the land of 10,000 lakes. Good old Minnesota. What? You guys too? Really? Where? I'm from St. Paul. We can be cousins. Okay, like distant cousins. Oh my gosh, we'll talk later. We might know some of the same people. Okay, all right, we'll talk, all right, all right. Oh, see, okay, one of the things that I love about cruise ships is that we literally get people from all over the world, and I think that's one of the coolest things. We have 1,643 crew members that represent 62 different nationalities on this ship alone, which is so, so cool. So um, there's another thing that comes along with ships that uh, we don't necessarily realize all the time on land, and that is that we've got people that are here just to have a good time. So um, we're gonna kind of help break through some of the awkwardness right here, right now. What I want you to do is we're gonna play a quick little game. It's called Meet Thy Neighbor. So what I want you to do is I want you to turn to the people that are behind you or in front of you. You're gonna quickly introduce yourself by giving them your name, where you're from, and what you're most looking forward to for the next eight days. And go. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's okay. You don't look like they
Everybody else is moving to Texas. Why should not? Okay, so there's, okay, we're going to bring it back. Yeah? I lost it. Okay, back to me. How about you, anyone? Oh my God. No, but okay, so here's the deal. There's, there's two reasons why I had you do that. One, because I want you to realize how easy it is to turn to someone that you don't know and literally be like, hey, what's your name? Where are you from? What are you most excited for? And then all of a sudden you start these really cool conversations and now you've got some newfound friends that you can have like adventures with around the ship. You can be a part of their adventures. They can be a part of your stories, which is sometimes one of the coolest things. So I challenge you to meet a stranger every day so that you have a new friend along the journey. So that's my one challenge for you. Yeah, because it's that easy. Yeah? Okay, perfect. I'm excited for you, buddy. Now, there is another reason that I had you turn to people that are behind you or in front of you. Um, you're probably here with people that you already know. Most of these people are probably in like a cabin with you. And you know what they say, a family that cruises together goes to therapy together. So you're probably gonna need some new friends to be able to help get you away from the ones that you're with for eight days. Cause we're gonna be trapped in those tiny little rooms. <laughs> and there's probably gonna be one of them that you're ready just to, <sighs> we call them a, a hug around the neck. You know, that's really sometimes we think about so we don't want that right we don't want to do that so now you have a new friend that's right there so there you go okay now um i get to have a whole lot of fun throughout the cruise i um i you're going to see me around a whole lot um one thing that happens is i i have many costumes and things that i'm going to be wearing so sometimes you may not recognize me or you're like wow that guy sounds familiar but i don't know him because i like to have a good time and one of the things that i love about my job is being able to see people like laugh and smile and just have a good time so um i'm wondering i'm trying out a little stand-up comedy would you be down if i tried a little tonight really Really? Yes. Okay. Um, here, can actually, uh, I might need a little bit of assistance. Um, is there a very well-behaved junior cruiser that I could borrow for a second? Well, <laughs> well I saw him here, but the, the parents were putting his hand down. Um, well-behaved. Could you pretend for like maybe like four minutes? You could. Really? Okay. Can I borrow you for a second? Yeah? Okay, come on over here for a second. Okay, give him a round of applause and make some noise too. Hi, buddy. All right, come on over. Okay, what's your name? Miles. Everybody say hi, Miles. Hi, Miles. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, this COVID weight really just... Because I'm the only one that doesn't fit in the clothes. Thank you. Okay, all right, so um, Miles, how old are you? Seven years old, wow, okay, do you know where you're from? No, everywhere. Thanks for the help, parents. Okay, perfect, okay, so you just, so you maybe like, like a mobile home, you just kind of get all around the world? Yes, okay, cool, okay, cool. Okay, cool, um, all right, now do you know what stand-up comedy is? No, that's okay. So stand-up comedy is like when, when when someone's like on the stage and they tell some jokes and then hopefully everybody laughs. But now here's the deal, I'm new to this, so I'm gonna need your help. So when I tell a joke, I need you to laugh as hard as you can, like so they all can hear you, so that they all can hear you. You're doing great. So that they all laugh as hard as they can so that it makes me feel better about myself. Could you help me with that? Yeah, yes, okay. Now, now I know that it's like the first night of the cruise and I know that it's, a, it's getting a little late. So if we can get maybe 75% of them to like laugh and smile, I might be able to get you a prize. Oh, now you're really down. Okay, okay, all right. So you ready to start? Okay, so remember, they gotta hear you at the back. <clears throat> all right, you ready? Okay. <clears throat> 
Why do seagulls fly over the sea? Because if they flew over the bay, they would be bagels. <laughs> okay, that was good, right? Did you get it? No, okay, cool. Okay. Alright, so, alright, alright, next one. Okay, um, <clears throat> how does the man on the moon cut his hair? Eclipse it. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> okay, uh, what is a toe's favorite chip? Doritos. <laughs> oh, you just got it. Oh. Okay. All right. Should Should we try one a little risque? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, some people may not like a song after this one, so we're going to be very careful. Okay. What's the difference between in-laws and outlaws? You don't know. The outlaws are only the ones that are wanted. <laughs> I use you as a shield in case they came attacking the stage. It's, it's funny because some of them can't laugh right now because of the people that they're sitting next to. And some of them are acting as if it wasn't that funny because of the people that are sitting next to them right now. Okay. Okay. I think... I think we got some good laughs. Do you agree? You think so? Yeah? Did you guys enjoy that? Yeah. Uh, they like me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, you, you probably want something now, don't you? Okay, all right. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Boop. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so... So my friend is the captain. His name is Captain Francesco. Can you say that? Okay, good. But you have to say it with the Italian accent. So you gotta put your fingers together like this and then flick your wrist a couple times and then say, Captain Francesco. See? Yeah, there you go. There you go. So he recently just went deep sea diving over in China. And while he was there, he found some gold in the bottom of the ocean and he turned it into this 24 karat piece of ship on a stick. That's why it says made in China on the bottom. Yeah. That's for you, okay? Now, the other thing is uh, because you're hilarious, I feel like you could use some laughing adventures with a new friend on board. So I'm gonna send you to our Build-A-Bear event and you're gonna get your very own friend for free. Okay? okay? Now, because you're so well behaved, and your parents really helped me out on that one, we have some leftover candy from last cruise. <laughs> yes, but um, the thing about it is that it expires in like a half hour, so you have to eat it all tonight before you go to bed. Yeah, look, look right at them and say, yes! Give him a big round of applause for being so awesome.